Windows 10 is an operating system. Operating systems, often abbreviated as OS, provide a platform on which other applications or programs run, such as word processors, internet browsers, and games. The goal of Windows 10 is to unify the operating system for PCs, tablets, and phones. The purpose of an operating system is to manage the hardware installed on your computer, tablet, or mobile device, run your computer apps and programs, connect to peripheral devices such as a printer, and communicate with other computers over your network or via the cloud. You can think of an operating system as the interface between you and your computer. Windows 10 is designed for home and business desktop computers, as well as laptops, tablet PCs, and some mobile devices, such as smartphones. You will use Windows 10 to run apps and programs and perform basic tasks, such as creating documents, composing email, and browsing the Internet. Windows 10 allows you to stay connected to your personal contacts through mail, messaging, and social media, as well as share files and photos. The first screen you see when you start Windows 10, or when the machine enters sleep mode, is the lock screen. The lock screen is a login and alert screen, optimized for both tablets and PC users, used for entering an optional password and gaining access to the system. The lock screen interface shows the current date and time, and may also display status notification badges for both running apps and system settings. You can customize the lock screen by changing the background picture and determining which apps, if any, will display information. Personalization options are available in Settings. To get past the lock screen and access the account screen, you have three options. With a touch screen, swipe your finger upward. With a mouse, click anywhere on the screen. And with a keyboard, press any key. When you start Windows 10 for the first time, you will be prompted to create an account. This user account will keep all of the files and settings separate from other accounts on the computer. A user account is a collection of information that tells Windows what files and folders each user has access to, what changes each user can make to the computer, and the personal preferences specific to each user. User accounts, each with a unique username and password, allow the computer to be shared with multiple people who maintain their own personal files and settings. For this course, a Microsoft account with a username and password has been created for Sarah. Sarah is a fictional teacher who is developing an instructional science unit on space for her class. After Windows is installed, accounts with usernames and passwords can be created for people who will use your computer. A user account is required to use Windows. If you share a single PC with other people, each user should have their own account. Users can customize their own accounts to their individual preferences, such as maintaining unique settings and a personalized desktop background or screensaver. User accounts also control which apps and files each user has access to and what changes they can make to the PC. When you create a user account, you can choose between three types of accounts. A child account, a local account, and a Microsoft account. An account is needed for each person who will use the computer. A child account is a standard user, either a local account or a Microsoft account, that has family safety monitoring turned enabled. Family Safety lets you manage what your child has access to on the computer and Internet and set what your child sees in the Windows Store. A local account, ideal if you plan to primarily use the Windows desktop, allows you to sign in with a username and password to a single Windows PC. 
Local accounts can be designated as guest, standard user, or administrator. Settings are not synced across other PCs and devices you use with the local account. For each local user account, Windows stores personalized settings such as desktop and start screen backgrounds, Internet Explorer favorites, and screen savers. Each username is associated with a user account. This keeps each person's preferences and information separate and at login the computer settings are automatically established for that person by Windows 10. For example, when you log in using your account, the settings for your account will be used. A Microsoft account for both standard user or administrator is an email address and password combination that you can use to sign in to Microsoft services. A benefit to the Microsoft account is having all of your files, contacts, and data synced with all your PCs and devices you will associate a Microsoft account with an existing address, such as your company email address or a third-party email provider, like Gmail, Yahoo, or Hotmail. A Microsoft account offers some unique features, such as useful synchronization features, and many of the new Windows 10 apps only work with a Microsoft account. When you sign in with a Microsoft ID, your personal settings such as browser favorites, internet history, accessibility options, user tile, mouse settings, and more are available. The settings are associated with your Windows 10 account and stored in the cloud. These unique settings are kept in sync and are available on each Windows 10 device you log into. The Microsoft Cloud Service is free and available 24-7 from different devices. Using a Microsoft account will track and save where you left off in your applications. For example, you'll resume at the same page where you left off in a book you're reading, or the level of a game you're playing, and the scene of a movie you're watching, even as you switch between computers and devices. Let's log in as Sarah using her Microsoft account. For your convenience, an account has been created. Touchscreen users without a physical keyboard can access their on-screen keyboard by tapping the field, tapping OSK from the taskbar, and then tapping back in the field before typing. Good! Sarah has now logged in using her Microsoft account and is connected to the cloud. With the cloud, she will now be able to sync her settings and data. Her contact information and status will automatically stay up to date from places like Hotmail, Facebook, and Twitter when she connects to those services using the Microsoft account. By signing in, she'll now be able to share photos and other files from places like OneDrive and Flickr as well as sync her personal settings to any PC running Windows 10, including her themes, preferences, browser favorites, and apps. After you log in, the desktop is displayed. You'll explore the desktop in greater detail later in the course. Let's first take a look at the Start menu. To view the Start menu, click the Start button in the lower left corner of the taskbar. The Start menu is the central location to access your computer's programs, folders, and settings. A program is a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do. Programs are also known as software and applications. Word processors, spreadsheets, and graphic design applications are examples of programs. Folders contain all of your files such as documents you create with a word processor or photographs transferred from your camera. The Start menu is used for a variety of common activities, including starting applications, opening folders, adjusting settings, powering off the computer, and more. If you are familiar with Windows operating systems that preceded Windows 8, 
such as XP and 7, you'll recognize common functions of the Start menu. The left side of the Windows 10 Start menu is virtually identical to Windows 7, with some items being rearranged, such as the Power options. Other items previously found on the right side, Control Panel, Documents, and Computer have been pinned to the top left. The left side of the Start menu lists commonly used programs on your computer, as well as links to the folders and files stored on your computer or network, as well as tools to manage your computer's settings. The right side of the Windows 10 Start menu now displays Live Tiles, like those introduced in Windows 8. Live Tiles provide quick and convenient access to installed apps, tools, and programs. Live Tiles display information within the tiles, enabling users to open or run an app to retrieve information. For example, the Weather app may display current temperature and weather conditions or a five-day forecast. A Stock Exchange tile will show stock prices and values in real time and a newsreader displays headlines and breaking news. Common live tile apps such as Mail, News, Skype, and Store display on the Start menu by default. But the menu can be customized to include the apps you use most often. Take a moment to explore the menu now. The Start menu is commonly used to open programs and apps installed on your computer. To open a program shown in the left pane of the Start menu, click it. The program opens and the Start menu closes. If you don't see the program you want, click All Apps at the bottom left and scroll through the alphabetical list. To return to the programs you saw when the menu first displayed, click Back at the bottom of the menu. You can fully customize the Start menu and control which items display. You can even change the color of the menu. Your favorite programs can be pinned to the menu for easy access and items can be removed or unpinned from the menu. This is true for both the items in the left pane and the tiles on the right. If you find the live tiles distracting, you can turn off the updates and animations or remove any or all tiles from the menu if you want. Good. Next, let's take a look at user accounts. If you're signed in using a Microsoft account, any tile for your social media apps, such as Facebook, will be live and display your specific information. You can also add other mail accounts, such as Google and Microsoft Exchange, to the mail app. When Windows is installed, both local and Microsoft user accounts can be created for each person who will use the computer. Each account stores personalized settings for that specific user, allowing for a unique experience and personal preferences. User accounts control the apps, programs, files and internet settings that each user can access and modify. When a user logs on using his or her account, the personalized settings are used. There are several benefits to setting up a Microsoft account and signing in with that account. With the Microsoft account, you'll create a profile in the cloud that can be accessed from any Windows 10 machine. You'll be able to synchronize your Windows 10 data and personal settings, address book, Internet Explorer history, social media sites, instant messaging, and email. You can also utilize the Windows Store to get additional apps to use on any PC running Windows 10 that you log into. You'll have access to all of your files, documents, and photos, as well as language favorites, preferences, and apps. The tools for working with user accounts are accessible in Settings, available from the Start menu and the Notifications area. The notification area on the taskbar provides information about status, alerts, and notifications. It can also be used to display icons for system and program features. Let's take a look. 
Let's create a local account for Harriet, who will share Sarah's computer. Each user account must be assigned a username and password. To create the user, the password must be verified and a hint included. For your convenience, a username and password have been created and entered for the new user. If you are creating an account for a child, you can select to turn on the family safety feature to get reports on their activity and usage. Windows has created an account for Harriet, which includes a user folder named Harriet. When Harriet logs in, she can access this folder from the Explorer window. Once an account has been created, you can modify its settings. Here you can change various properties of the account, such as the username and the picture associated with the account. You can also change the password and create a PIN. When a user account is no longer required, it is best to delete it. You can delete an account using the User Accounts and Family Safety feature available from the Control Panel. For now, let's continue learning about user accounts. The Sign In options allow you to regularly change your password, create a PIN, or use a picture password to sign in. These options help protect your data and add a level of safety and security to your system.